Uh, good morning, guys. We just got to Elgin. I'm reading the newspaper here. What kind of estate sale is this, Julie? This is a highly collectible estate sale. They have all collectibles in boxes, and there's a lot of pickers here. 50s, so it's a lot of, like, collectors and <clears throat> resellers. Probably about 20-something people here. Hopefully, we can get some good stuff. But uh, yeah, that's the sale right there. And they have the garage already open. So we'll see, it's a nice, nice size house. So thinking it's gonna be filled, filled with some good stuff. I gotta be the first one there, not the last one there. I gotta be the first one there. Yeah, it's got the box too. The one you didn't get. All right, guys, so we are here in Elgin. This is a little neighborhood. We've got Julie right here. What do we get, Julie? A lot of vintage stuff, huh? Oh, yeah, we did great. Got our Arkea bags came in handy, huh? I was surprised no one was picking up the Mars. So we had uh, the fire truck. The fire truck was like 450 which is a decent price, but, you know, it, it could sit a while. So mm -hmm. it's one of those things we didn't grab it. I'm glad the guy from Wisconsin, he took mm -hmm. him five hours to get here. This is pick money. it up panama canal more marks so we'll show everything when we get home but yeah nice little estate sale looks like a garage sale oh thank you for that All right, guys, we're in Dundee. Check out that old carriage house. But yeah, heading uh, heading probably home now. Maybe we'll stop at a thrift store, probably not. <laughs> All right, guys, looks like those people bought something. But yeah, everything was higher, higher than eBay prices. Yeah, it was ridiculous. So that's when I basically, when I look it up and a buyer, the, the bear or whatever, uh singing carolers are they're wanting 62 for it and i can get one on ebay for like 38 that's when i uh know i'm i'm in, I'm in trouble probably i'm in trouble and it's time to uh get the show on the road but yeah it's a beautiful little area nice vintage old houses from the 1800s but too pricey All right, what's going on guys? Just got everything home and I'm gonna go over what we got. Pretty much very, very solid score. Um, we're gonna be in the profit with only two sales. It's gonna put us into the profit and I will show you what sales, uh, which items they were. They were very rare finds. And uh, so yeah, this is what we have here, all the stuff. And uh, the first one I will show you is the Panama Canal. As you can see, it has the original box, very good condition. And this is a rare collectible USA Panama Canal. Got the Atlantic Ocean, Pacific Ocean right there. Beautiful box made by Ren Wall, world's finest toys. And um, the bottom of the box is in really good condition number 273 i have not seen any sold like this um in this kind of condition so this right here should get us at least 300 dollars. okay um then we have the tootsie toy build a truck and this is extremely rare tootsie toy right here 
and yep that's the it has the instructions inside now it was supposed to come i think with with the blue truck i'm not 100 percent sure um if they switched one of these up or something or maybe they repainted it i'm not sure but basically very rare set the only one that's listed on ebay is listed for i think 500 dollars so even if i sold this for there was a sold for three something but our box is way better so even if i sold this for around 400 bucks basically these two will put us after ebay fees and everything will be into the profit already so right here and then i'll start showing other stuff we got uh, we got this little, uh, I think it's like a gas station by Marks. Oh, it's a freight terminal by M Marks. So for trucks, which is pretty cool. It's in great condition too. Nice colors on it. Um, for uh, model trucks or cars. Then we picked up, I think this is Marks as well. Um, U.S. Satellite Headquarters. Not really sure. I've never seen one of these before, but it comes with, uh, it's in really good condition. And then it comes with all these little fingers and stuff like that. Some of these are still uh, attached. Different satellites. I got to get this stuff out of the sun, but yeah. Got that. This looks like Mark's as well. Some little figures. For 10 bucks, we got all this Mark's furniture. Yeah, you see, when you see that little sign right there, that's the Mark's symbol. And uh, there could be some rare pieces in it. We sell Mark's furniture all the time. We've sold just like one piece before for 30, 40 bucks, but it all depends on um, how rare it is and stuff like that. But yeah, we'll go through this. Just trying to get it out of the sun for now because you don't want old plastic to be out in the sun. And we got this uh, house for 40 bucks. And uh, it's probably Mark's as well. Great condition. Got all these postcards for 30. And uh, got some large, uh, large ones in here are pretty collectible we got the smoky mountains national park the newfound gap highway tunnel and chimney tops and uh yeah it's a whole box of them so there's just a ton to look through hopefully i get a couple of rare ones in it it's gonna take a while to look through it and then i'll show you what's in these two bags as well all right guys so i went to the back of the house uh because getting some landscaping done so there's a lot of noises the neighbors are having landscaping but it's it's also out of the sun here so i'll be able to uh show you all the other stuff that i got pretty excited about the shuko micro racer actually um i just looked it up 175 bucks so yeah so everything we had here was 461 paid in cash get to it all right got my coffee ready so if you guys are ready for uh to see some cool stuff like the shuko right here so the shuko 1036 micro racer with the original box and uh, these were made in germany so they're imported from germany and this is a ford custom roadster they came in a green blue uh red and i think there's some other colors but let's check it out so we got it in a blue and it has the instructions with it as well if i can get to them sorry let's hope they're not glued in there oh no okay they're in there so we got the instructions here as well. And uh, Shuko Micro Racer. And they had different ones here. So 
That bug looks pretty cool. And that's ours right there, the 1036. That's kind of cool, the little person inside. But yeah, put that back into the box. And the uh, box is in really good condition, I would say. Um, very good condition. Let's keep it that way. And this is the car. There's some damage to the tires just from sitting um, flat like that for a long time. Just a little bit, not, not a lot. But I paid 35 for it. Should get well over 150. It's got the key for it as well. So I don't know how these work. I've actually, I've never picked these up before, but I would assume you wind it up. Probably have it. So you probably have to have this thing like that and you wind it up. All right. And then you release it. And it stops. <laughs> stops before the cliff. But yeah, there it goes. Pretty cool. Really good condition. Hot rod. Very desirable. And then we got two more boxes to look through here. So let's see what else we got next. See what else we got in the mystery box here but yeah it's cool to uh that it has the key the box and the the little pamphlet or whatever because that's what collectors are looking for so next up is uh three of these trucks they were five dollars a pop these are marks and this is something I probably would keep for myself. I drove a truck for close to nine years, I would say. And uh, I love collecting, like, truck. I like I love transportation memorabilia, so the price isn't too bad. I might keep these for myself, at least for a little while. But, yeah, Mark's. There's the emblem. And, uh, yeah, we just love that, like, simple, bright colors like that. I know Julie likes, you know, collecting cool stuff, too. So these are pretty sweet and uh very good condition so we'll see might hold on to those don't know yet for ten dollars got this box of uh different figures and uh yeah like this one here is uh timmy timmy toys cowboys and some of these could go for decent money like this guy right here I think these can go for better money. The Timmy, um, like the hunters, the the woodsmen, outdoorsmen kind of figures. But this is, I think, made by Borg Borgen. I know I I have a bunch of these in the collection, so I'll have to kind of like look through them. Like this is a metal one, made in England, um, copyright. To, it's like some kind of farmer or something like that but yeah it's just a bunch of different figures i'll have to look through this whole whole box but for ten dollars couldn't really pass it up you got a fireman here got a larger scale these are the ones that people want more these larger scale um just the more rare it is the more money it's going to be worth and uh yeah if you know anything about any of these let me know down below i know uh i know these timmies are pretty cool people like to collect timmies hard horses just different stuff here i'll have to look through them This is another large box here and uh yeah i paid ten dollars for it as well 
for all this stuff so actually the brio the brio is kind of on its own we got this brio motorcycle it's like 50s style but different boxes different things in here looks like this spent a lot of time in the garage it's kind of rusted up so yeah i'll have to look through this See what's up um this looks like a sand and gravel truck from lesney with the gray tires i know these are the older ones now we got a bunch of miniature cars here made in japan these are kind of like train scale could be for some kind of train scale cars but uh yeah they're rusted up, but a little WD-40, a little polish to clean them up, and they'll look a lot better. Oh yeah, these are all Japan, Japan scale cars that they had in there. This is a metal, actually a hard plastic carriage carriage man anyway i know this is a winner this little lesney but i'll have to look through all this other stuff so for 10 bucks that was a good grab And we had another 10 here, but th this isn't this isn't uh, all of it. There's gonna be a lot more. So yeah, I love these colors here. This is a Marks. And I don't know what these guys are doing. Mechanics maybe? Or like, this one's got like a cowboy belt around him. Got a ladder here. TP rowing, Native American. Yeah, so these are like some kind of maybe air, airmen, whatever they are. But these are all marks. And, uh, okay, yep. So these are the little toys from them. So police. Oh, okay. So these have the little hats here. You put the hat on him like so. I think so these are different policemen I guess made by marks We got a tin, well it looks like a hiker, 
our ranger. So yeah, these are all the hats, the policeman hats or whatever. So it's some kind of Mark's policeman set. Not sure where this is from. Looks like a mechanic of some sort. So yeah, these are all vintage. A little bit of everything here. All right, another ten. Another ten dollars for this lot. And uh, here we have a plastic black car made in USA. I'll have to look that up. We got, um, this is Ideal made in USA as well. Has a little bit of a tape touch up. It's like a little, uh, you know, like a work truck here. It's kind of neat. Oh yeah, these are pretty cool. Made in Hong Kong shell pumps. And these are, this is a part to this truck. This is ideal as well. And it's a painter's truck. It's got different tools, and the tools here are made out of either tin or like a hard plastic. Yeah, they're tin, so that's kind of cool. So it's just different, uh, different tools in there that they have. And usually, I think if you see these, they're not going to have as many accessories, so it's kind of cool to have it in. Um, it's not like the doors are missing here, obviously, it's not perfect, but got all the little painters buckets and all that stuff and uh, on the side it says painting and decorating truck so it's pretty cool and it's got the different ladders in here workers ladders yeah there's different parts for it but I'll try to fix it up more ladders here Got this big boy harmonica made in Japan. And this miniature covered wagon made in uh, Japan as well. Let's check it out. That's pretty cool. And I got this Marks River Queen for two bucks. And I think it's supposed to wind up, I'm assuming it doesn't work. I don't think the I don't think it works. Buy a pretty cool two bucks. Then Julie grabbed these box of small cars, ten dollars. Couldn't pass them up. Just vintage tin cars. People love Micro Machine these days, and these are kind of like the 
micro machines before micro machines i know tootsie toy made these and other companies did and they're pretty cool people collect these so ten dollars couldn't pass them up another 10 this is fort laramie not everyone knows fort laramie wyoming big travel town in wyoming and uh just different cowboys and stuff like that ten dollars i have no idea how much it's worth but it's pretty cool Then I grabbed for 25. I grabbed this Hubley tanker and uh, made in USA plastic Hubley, and it's got like the nice heavy-duty rubber tires on it. So we got these Texas Rangers and it's made by Marks Texas Rangers just different horses different cowboys these are pretty neat because there's so much detail to them when you see plastic toys from like you know these days at like Walmart or whatever they just don't have this kind of like cool vintage quality about them there's a little cabin, stuff like that. So I'll have to look through it. But yeah, this is a cool set. Very interesting. Collectible. Man, I grabbed a huge bag. I'll show you this tin. It's really got um, five bucks for this. Alice in Wonderland tin. Premier coffee. It's in nice condition. And it's got great art artwork on it. Got a Tootsie toy right here. Olsen Transport serving Green Bay and Chicago so this is a local company trailer it's made by Tootsie Toy so, yeah, so this was 35 bucks this was six this actually might be the blue one that I need for that Tootsie Toy set that I was showing you that it had red two red trucks. This might be the blue one that actually belongs with that set. I'll have to look. But it it could be. I'll have to check that out. We got a wind up here. This looks to be like kind of like um like this guy here. Like the Sh Shuko Micro Racer, similar tires and everything. This was 15 made in Germany as well. And it's got the wind up. Oh, it's made by DUX. DUX made in Germany. It's got the wind up mechanism here. And uh, I think you have to have a special key for it or something like that. Might be able to use some kind of tool. But DUX never had one of these before, but it's pretty cool. And um, it's got a little motor in there. Colors are great. Very good condition. So, yeah, I like this one a lot. That's a real nice one, 15 bucks. This is a Wilmer army truck, 12 for the pair. So I think I got, I think I got this one as well. So 
pretty cool made by Wilmer made in Denmark so these are nice great condition basically everything that this person had at the estate sale everything was in really good condition so um, they had a lot of antique books he was definitely a collector maybe even a reseller of certain things so Tootsie trailer a couple bucks Picked up this Auburn police guy for 15. So $8 for this Tootsie Toy Cat Caterpillar Diesel. And it's still, you see the rubber um, threads are still on there, so it's good to see. Very nice condition too. Caterpillar diesel, this lifts up. That's cool. And we got another Tootsie for six. It's a red one. This is some kind of Jeepster. Jeep. Six. Some more Tootsies at three. This is some kind of motorbike. Five bucks. No brand. Actually, it has a brand. It says, uh, Tokno or Folkno. Tokno or Folkno in Denmark. And it's like a Harley. Oh, it's a Harley. Wow. It's like a World War II, maybe? Harley? And it's got the Eagle and like a medical. It's like some kind of like a medical box or something, but that's pretty cool. I like this one. Oh. I got it for five, so I'll throw that on there. Three bucks, Mercedes-Benz C111, Hot Wheels, Hong Kong, um, Redline. So, I'm guessing they had more Redlines in there. Somebody must have grabbed them before me, but three bucks. I wish I would have gotten in there before. Well, I got enough stuff, so I'm not worried about it. But yeah, Redline for three bucks plastic on the bottom which is kind of weird but it's cool for a dollar Tootsie Toy Classic Series Model A Ford 1929 it's only a buck so it's a good find got more Tootsies at three each that's like a futuristic one right here. It's kind of neat. Another big hood, futuristic looking midge toy. Oh, midge toy. So this one's probably a midge toy too. Yeah, that's the difference. The um, midge toy and Tootsie toy made very similar cars. That's pretty cool. A couple more of these futuristic cars pickup truck this is made by goody goody production pickup truck it's really interesting and then we got uh, i'm guessing this is going to be yeah another goody like a little coupe And then we have these two passengers, like World War II looking guys. I don't know if they belong in a car. I'm guessing they would go here. Yeah, I guess they would go right here. But yeah, that's uh, 
think I just went through everything. So sorry for all the, there's some noise, landscaping noise, but yeah, I got all this stuff, this stuff here, more stuff to look through there, cars, more cars. So yeah, got a ton of stuff. Um, 461 is very fair. We should do pretty well when, once everything is sold. Um, that fire truck that I showed in the video of us being inside the estate sale, they wanted 450 for it. I've seen them uh, sold as high as like a thousand because it had the box, but something like that. Um, I decided not to get it because it could sit for half a year. It's just a lot of money to put in for one item and wait for that perfect buyer. Maybe I should have grabbed it. I don't know. But this is everything. And uh, if you like this video, please give us a thumbs up. We would really appreciate it. And uh, yeah, I do haul videos whenever I can. Um, especially if it's like interesting things like this. Vintage 50s, 60s, collectibles. But yeah, I think it's a pretty good haul. Some cool stuff. And uh, yeah, if you enjoyed this video, please subscribe. Uh, get out there, go to those thrift stores, estate sales, garage sales, get the, get, you know, get the good stuff. And, uh, yeah, we were like number 14 and 15 in line and we still got all this stuff. So wishing you guys all the best and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.